The giant fabric producer went under for years following the collapse of textile industry in the country. More university took over operations at the facility, which has led to its transformation over the last two years. When KTN News visited the factory, machine operators were busy processing fabric as other workers continue to spruce up the factory, whose modernization currently stands at 90%. In 2017, President Uhuru Kenyatta ordered the revival of the plant during his visit to the region. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we celebrate not just the present monumental investment of this project to the tune of nearly Kenya shillings, five billion, but also the impact of this initiative in supporting the country's social economic renewal. The estimated 3,000 direct jobs that this project will generate and the tens of thousands of indirect jobs created in support and uh, ancillary activities will go a long way to boosting not just this region, but also our national quest for value addition, an increase in manufacturing as well as jobs under the big four. There is no doubt in my mind that Rivertex rekindles hopes and revives dreams by ushering a new dawn for cotton farmers. Here too lies the possibility of hundreds of thousands of additional jobs for our people. When we see the machines here, and when we see the young people here, it becomes, it comes home as a reality. And this did not start yesterday, it started in 2013, when you authorized this, the modernization of Rivertex. We shall be eternally grateful for your support, your foresight, and your commitment to the turnaround and the modernization of this facility. Kwa kufufua kiwanda hii ya Rivertex. Sisi wale wakaaji wa hapa Your Excellency wakati Rivertex ilikuwa nafanya kazi in the 80s. Wale watu walikuwa nafanya hapa walikuwa saidi ya elfu tatu na miatano. Na hapa ndio ilikuwa yetukota ya boda boda. Sio kakamega. Ukiongeza na wale walikuwa Raymond na Kenit. Taoni hii ndio ilikuwa inaongoza. Kiwanda hii wakati ilififia Your Excellency tukakuwa na ukosefu wa kazi. Na pia uchumi wa hii town ikaenda chini. This industrialization which makes a difference on day one. You have seen for yourselves, yourself, your excellency, during the tour that we have already employed. The 712 will bloom very soon to 3,000 and that is the game changer we want in this country. <laughs> Unemployment has been our headache and we know that you, have, you thought very wisely when you thought about this uh, big four. Beneficiaries wengi wa factory hii wanatoka hapa nyumbani. Na mimi nataka ni kueleze um, rais hii ndi sasa ile matunda ya big four. Na hii ndiyo matunda ya, ya jubilee. River Tech's managing director Thomas Kip Kurgat now says at least 500,000 acres of cotton will be required to meet the company's cotton demands. The Rivertex boss revealed that the factory has the capacity to handle 40 tons of cotton daily, but is currently processing 12 tons. It is the most uh, advanced technology with 95 and above efficiency, which, uh, which in turn brings us the premium products, which we can always, uh, we can serve the country and also we can serve the national market. For many, many years, uh, Rivertex has been uh, dead. Uh, with very obsolete machines, but we thank the Kenya government for supporting us to have a modern textile mill in this region. Kip Kurgat says before it was modernized, the factory is only processing two tons of cotton daily. Currently, the company importing cotton from neighboring Uganda and Tanzania to enable it to process the fabric. To meet increasing demand for cotton, Rivertex has signed cotton growing deals with 24 counties in Rift Valley and Eastern Region.
The move will reduce the mill's reliance on imported raw material and result in lower operation costs. Kenya Bureau of St uh, Standard, which, uh, Kenya Bureau of Statistics, which is a census, uh, which we got a contract for this. At the same time, also is assembling the laptops. You can assemble 1,200 uh, laptops per day, which has a very high efficiency. So we like to say that these two plants that are here is able to to, uh, to change the economy of this county. At the, at the same time, we'll be able to change the economy of this country by in the uh, by employing also the youth. At the same time, also <coughs> going back to the farmer. I, I want to say that uh, this uh, Kenya doesn't have really the seeds for cotton. We really need the uh, BT biotechnology, uh, the BT cotton, in order to spur growth of cotton growing again in Kenya because. We really need the raw material so we have sustainability and we can create employment uh, locally, not creating, creating employment across border. We, we you know, um, contribute to wealth creation uh, through cotton farming by farmers uh, across the country. We've done the memorandum of understanding and continue doing so. We've done with uh, Tericho County, we've done with uh, Bomet County, we've done with the uh, West Pocot. Um, we're going to do one with Baringo, we've done with the Gale Maracuet, and we are going to move across to Nyanza and also the Makweni Kitui and the uh, coastal region of Kenya, the traditional cotton growing uh, uh, counties of, of, of Kenya. More University Vice Chancellor Professor Isaac Sanga Kosgei says that more university on the company and was ready to start producing material for police uniforms. Apart from police fabric, the company was also manufacturing fabrics for military and hospital uniforms as well as for making lessons. To upgrade ile steamer ya hapa from 33 KVA to 66 na hiyo pia sasa itawezesha factory hizi mbili kuweza kuendelea kufanya 24 hours with stable power na pia kwa sababu steamer ndio the biggest expense. Si ndivyo umeniambia wewe? Yeah? Yeah? 30%. Na kwa sababu tunataka ku encourage hii factory iweze kwa muda mfupi kuanza kutengeneza mahela na ku reinvest. Nimeamurisha wizara ya ya stima wa reduce bei ya stima kwa hii kiwanda by 50%. Ndio sasa Musiwe na excuse ni kwa nini hamtengenezi mahela. We did the first phase of uh, the, the supply of tablets. We've just finished uh, the second phase or, uh, recently. And currently we are doing devices for the upcoming census in August. 40% uh, of the share. And we are up and running to deliver the devices by next month. The comeback of river taxi is seen as a deliberate attempt by the government to support industries as outlined in the president's big four agenda. Elvis Kosgei, KT News, Washington County.